All right. So we want to build a black family. We have to have willing women to be wives and mothers. For whatever reason, far too many women are on the independent. That's fine. But we need to be able to tell the men who want families to stop trying to figure y'all out and get y'all down the aisle and go ahead and tell these men, get you somebody else and keep the black family going. Is that more important than black woman? That's the question. And then we can do your question. Is that more important? Is the black community continuing more important than the black woman? No. I you can't I make can't it up. So you make it. Do you? And this is why I tell you guys: sell out, sell out the femininity. Because at that point, you're always going to be a hostage. They don't have to do anything. It's getting worse, and they just want you to waste your time, ma'am. You cannot put black women above the black community. Please tell us how you put black women above the black community. And then I'll who, answer your questions. Who was the head of the black community? When you really think about it, it, it you know, when you think about the over Man. the last 25, 30 years. Okay, so this, woman, that's, this is, is a monolith. This is, no, 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 it's not. No, it's not. The black woman has ruined the black community. Prior to 1965, we were made at a rate of 80%. Jim Crow segregation, slavery, we still had a community, we had church, we had family. All it took was feminism. Jim Crow slavery, chattel slavery could not wreck the black family. All it took was one generation of feminism in college to fuck this community up. All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Wawachakwadash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Rachakwadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who ruin teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing this word in all truth and in all sincerity. And this is a clip that you saw from Kevin Samuels, you know, talk show. All right. And, you know, he's, you know, talking to, you know, once again, you know, a uh, so-called black woman, which I'll say this. All right. Really, you know, uh, you know, these are Israelites. OK, you know, so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. All right. We're, we are the Israelites, you know, the ones that are spoken about in the Bible. That's our true biblical nationality. All right. You know, but for lack of words. All right. And to keep it simple, you know, Kevin Samuel was talking to uh, the so-called black woman. And as you heard, she said that the black woman, okay, is more important than the black community. All right. And this shows you how um, destructive our women are. They are more worried about themselves. All right. Than um, the community, you know, you know, uh, the, you know, the, the people are right? her family. All right friends, loved ones, okay, you know, those around her of her same race, she's more worried about herself than, you know, these things, and this just shows you how how our women think, and this is the reason why we always say, you know, and excuse my language here, that's why we always say fuck the black woman, all right, starting with her, but also, hey, the Hispanic woman and also the Native American woman, because our women, hey, they, they, they're, they're, um, a destructive you know, a force, man. Okay. All right. That's why the scriptures say, which maybe we'll get Lord willing in a little bit, but it says in the book of Sirach, through her, you know, we all die, roughly paraphrasing it. Okay. See, these women, they don't really know how to lead. Okay. They don't. They don't know how to, you know, build up a nation. All they know how to do is throw it down. And it's evident, like, like how Kevin Samuel just said, it took one generation. All right. You know, uh, of you know, you know, people going to college and 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 um, I forgot exactly what he said, but you know, going to college and, and you know, selling out. All right, and fe that's what he said. College and feminism. It took one one generation of college and fe feminism to completely destroy. All right, the so-called black community. All right, and like I said, you know, or, or let me say this, you know, it starts off with the so-called you know black woman because. You know, she's from the tribe of Judah, which the tribe of Judah, all right, that's the head tribe of the nation of Israel. But then it trickles down to the other tribes, all right, you know. 
trickles down to the you know the other tribes. That's why hey, 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 this is not just you know uh, the thought process of the so-called black woman. Hey, this is the thought process of the a hey, the Puerto Rican woman, all right, the Native American woman, the Mexican woman, so on and so forth. Especially those who are, um, you know, uh, who've been indoctrinated by the uh, philosophy of Babylon the Great, which is America. The ideology is here, okay. Hey, our women are, are are completely through, and and they have no or there's no structure, no order. All right, and that's because Esau Edom, the so-called white man. All right, hey, their their daddy. All right, their their lover. All right. Has allowed them to roam freely to do all this. Because look. These Edomites. Okay. They understand. That the man is the head of the household. Alright. And if you uh, put. You know. Elevate the woman. Put her on top. Okay. It's going to destroy it. Because the woman. She's not. You know. She's not wise in her mind. She's not strong. Alright. Mentally. Physically. Okay. Spiritually speaking. She's weak. So they purposely put her on top. To lead. Okay, and then our women, they, they, they just follow, you know, the power, and, our, and who's in power right now, man? You know, it's simple. Esau, even the so-called white man's in power, so they follow whatever he does, and that ultimately destroys our people. And you see, these Edomites, they want to uh, kill our people, man. They want to cut us off. You know, they want to cut us off so they can continue to be in power. You know, simple as that. All right. You know, but this is just a, uh, like I said, this is just um, one of many examples of why we say fuck the black woman, man. Okay? Fuck them. And let me get a scripture, man. Let me get a scripture here. This is uh, Proverbs 14 and 1, and it reads, Every wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish plucketh it with her hands. And you see, our women, they're not wise. I'll say this. When you observe the other nations, okay, you know, look at the, you know, the so-called, you know, you know, so-called white family, our so-called, you know, Arab family, Chinese family, our so on and so forth. These other nations, these, you know, heathens, all right, they're in order, okay? Their households are in order for the most part, okay? You know, hey, the man's the head of the household. Hey, the woman, she, uh, you know, she plays her role, which her main role is to do what, all right? They support her husband. You know, make sure he's, you know, uh, uh, good, so to speak. Okay? And take care of the household, right? You know, they, the children, make sure they're okay. Take care of, you know, the you know the daily chores, and, you know, in the house. Okay? You see? You observe these other nations, they do it. Hey, they, they follow their man. But with our community, the so-called black and Hispanic and Native American community, our women want to lead. They want to fight. They 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 want to destroy our community, okay. And it's evident. They look, look at our women. They'll sit there. They'll have an issue, you know, with their uh, husband, okay. Leave him. Go fool around with a bunch of guys, mind you. This woman has kids too, mind you. She's got kids. Fool around with a bunch of guys. Still uh, be alone, unhappy, okay, in a two bedroom apartment. All right, and then put uh, put the man on child support and do anything and everything to to make him you know upset. All right, to ruin his life, ruin the children's lives. She'll use the children as as a weapon, okay, against him. She doesn't even care about how you know the children's feelings, their well being. She's she's more worried about how she can destroy the man, okay. Hey, but that I'll say this: those are curses from the heavenly Father. That's in the book of Deuteronomy, the twenty eighth chapter. How our women are going to have an evil eye towards the man. And vice versa. The man having an evil eye towards the wo uh, women. Okay. But well, point being. The, you know our women. Hey, they're, 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 um, they're destructive man. Okay that's why it says here. Every wise woman buildeth her out. But the foolish plucketh it down. Our women are complete fools. And then you try to you know. Talk to them. You try to you know. You know uh, talk logic you know. To them. And they, they, they can't even accept it. You know, like when you watch Kevin Samuels, you know, I'll just use his platform, right? You watch Kevin Samuels, right? When he, he's just speaking facts, just speaking facts, no emotions involved, just facts. These women can't even uh, deal with it. 
And they always try to deflect everything and they don't want to deal with accountability. You know? And you see, this is why the Lord is going to destroy the majority of our women. Alright? That's why the Lord is going to destroy the majority of our women. Because they're, they're uh, you know, out of control. You know, they don't want to, you know, take heed to what's being said. Alright? And it's just at a point where it's like, well, you know, what's the point? What's the use for you? Okay? Alright? Let me get this, though. Hold on real quick. My bad. I hit the wrong thing. Because the scriptures say... Oh, hopefully we can get this. It says, through her, through her we all die. Alright? It's in the book of Sirach. Let's get that real quick. Sirach, so, give me one moment. That's Judith. Where is it? Sirach. Come here. Where is it at? Here we go. Um, yeah, let's get this. This is uh, Sirach... Man, this, oof, man, this whole uh, Sirach is heavy. You know what? Man, there's so much here. I'll get this. All right. This is uh. Let's start at uh, nineteen. This is Sirach twenty-five and nineteen. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness. Of a woman, that the portion of a sinner fall upon her. All right, so pretty much, our women don't really see what they're doing as anything wrong. You know, the scriptures say um, how uh, she wipes her face and says she's done nothing. You know, roughly paraphrasing, that's in the book of Proverbs. Our women be really believe that they 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 have done nothing wrong. They had you know they don't deal with the accountability of their actions. You know. They always try to, you know, blame this person, that person, but this, that, you know, it's always something. It's never, you know what, I messed up, you know, I, I'm at fault, you know, I'm sorry, you know, let me, you know, let me uh, do things to, you know, you know, you know uh, make it up, so to speak. They never say these things. They never do it. The only person they, um, they ask his to is uh, Esau. Every time, if you ever notice... Hey, you, you you look at one of the tribe women, all right. Look look at them deal with Esau. They're always you know making those fake laughs, all right. Being extra nice, extra touchy feely with them, okay. But when it comes down to their own you know uh, race, you there's always some type of a uh, distance. Always you know, say, hey, this woman's always complaining, all right. Always you know talking back. There's always some type of issue. Okay. There's always some type of issues, but see, our women are gonna learn uh, real soon that that look, this man that they're in love with, which is Esau, he's falling, and you're gonna fall with him. And you're gonna, uh, in order to get protection in that day, you're gonna have to, you know, be with the man of the Lord. All right, first and for, you know, that that's really it. First and foremost, you're of your own nation, and then uh, secondly, you got to be with the man of the Lord. And you see, I'll say this. A lot of you women, you're going to get rejected in that day, okay? You're going to try to, you know, get on our good side, so to speak, and a lot of us are going to reject you. You're going to get kicked to the curb, man, okay? Because, hey, we see you, you women, all right? We see through you. We're not wooed off your beauty. We're not wooed off your, you know, your smiles, all right? You, you, you know, your figure. We're not wooed off that. We're not wooed off of your cooking, whatever. I don't care what it is, man. Whatever you have to offer, we're not wooed off of it, off of these things, okay? We see right through it. Hey, we're looking at the, at the spirit. And if you got an ugly spirit, a wicked spirit, we don't want it, man, all right? Now let's get this. This is Sirach 25 and 24. Of the woman came the beginning uh, of sin, and through her we all die. Okay, and that's going into uh, 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 the situation with uh, uh, Adam and Eve. Hey, she's the one who um, um, ate of the, the fruit of lies at first, okay? She's the one who ate that first. Then she presented it to Adam. Hey, she, hey, she, 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 she uh, went off, okay? 
when she uh, uh, um, even uh, uh, talked, to, she decided to talk to another man, which was the serpent, because the serpent is actually a man. It's not a you know an actual snake. That serpent was a man that had snake-like qualities. All right, sneaky, deceiving, cunning. Okay. All right, which that you know, if you can receive it, that's um, who uh, that was Esau Edom in the past, the so-called white man, if you can receive it. Okay, but well, point being, hey, she, hey, she talked to another man behind, uh, uh her husband's back. Even you know, p played a harlot like that. It all starts off with, 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 with you know, with talking, and listening to to someone else, uh, uh, besides your husband. That's why the scriptures tell us men, all right, not to sit down with another man's wife. You're not supposed to, you know, uh, you know. Uh, congregate, you know, with, with you know a woman that has a man, and talk to her, and because hey, man, that that starts, you know, that starts a uh, um breeding, okay, adultery. Simple as that. But she, the point being though, she's the one who who brought you know these wicked philosophies to Adam. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, all right, and through her we all die. See, through these women we die, man. And what does the scripture say? You know, uh, uh, men have run out their wits for women. Many men have died because of women, roughly paraphrasing these things. Okay? Hey, man, a lot of men have died because of you women. And have had terrible lives. Not just men. Hey, but, but hey, the whole family structure, man. Hey, you know, boy, little children, you know, boys, girls, all that. Men, women, hey, people have died. because A lot of people have died because of the wickedness of women, man. Okay? That's why uh, I'm going to keep reading. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to get abroad. And you see, we're really supposed to have our women, okay, you know, at home. They're supposed to, uh, uh, we're supposed to keep tabs on them frequently. Because the second you give a woman a little bit of liberty, all right, she's going to, you know, get abroad and do something wicked. She, she's going to do some type of evil. Because women are, 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 hey, they just want to constantly please the flesh. Hey, w w women will do things, you know, that, that they'll completely hurt themselves, co completely hurt their family, just to get a, a pleasure for 30 seconds, man. You know what I mean? Think about how many, uh, j j j I'll say this, with these women with, you know, adultery, because they're, they, hey, heavy, they got heavy demon, uh, heavy demons with that on them, man. That adultery demon, they they they'll they'll, they'll uh, go fool around with another man just because he, he made her laugh for that you know for that one moment at the job or something or in an elevator or on the train, guy made her laugh or something, all right or oh, you know what I'm saying. Or he he looked like her favorite uh guy you know a movie star or a, a you know rapper, she'll 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 commit adultery. Oh he looked like you know. Uh, uh, you know Denzel Washington. He looked like you know a uh, uh, future. I couldn't help myself. That's how bugged out these women are, man. That's why the Lord's gonna destroy them. Okay. That's why the Lord's gonna destroy them. You know. And this is why we 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 don't need. Look, man. We 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 really don't. Hey, it, the Israelite man really doesn't need the Israelite woman. And you women, listen up, man. We don't need you. Because look, uh, the, the, um, basically your nationality, okay, who you are, it comes from the man. It comes from the man. Your nationality is based off your father. Whatever your father was, that's your nationality, okay? So uh, us Israelite men, we can, we can be with the heathen women and continue to you know, uh, push out our, our, our seed line, okay? We don't need you. We can start all over again without one Israelite woman. Just remember that. Okay? Just remember that. And that's why I'll say this. That's why, hey, the, the, us, because, uh, you know, you Israelite women are so damn wicked. That's why the, the Israelite man is going for the heathen woman. That's why they're going for the white woman, the Chinese woman. All right? You know, the, the, the Arab woman. Our men are just tired of you, man. Because there's no peace with you. 
Our women are completely just gone, man. And Lord, I am telling you, the Lord's going to deal with you, man, very, very soon. All right? But uh, let me get this, and we'll end it off. I don't want to keep this too long. All right? Hey, like I say, you know, we, we've been saying for a while, you know, fuck the black woman, right? Look, the scriptures pretty much say fuck the black woman, man. Hey, you get mad at us all you want. But this is what the Lord has said, man. All right? Fuck the black and Hispanic woman, man. Straight up, man. All right? Now, hey, I'll say this. If, if you're a sister that has, you know, repented from her ways, that's a beautiful thing, man. Because really, you're not a black and Hispanic woman anymore or a Native American woman. You're an Israelite woman. And that's a beautiful thing. Okay? Well, I'm talking about these two-thirds, man. They, they, These two-thirds, they, they got to die, man. They got to be punished, man. All right? Well, let me get this. This is Micah 7 and... And 10, then she that is my enemy, all right, talking about the Israelite woman, shall see it. And what's that it? Hey, the, the, this uh, uh, destruction of this place, hey, the, the, uh, the prophecies come in the past, and our power saving us, Yahweh, which is the Heavenly Father, through His Son, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, them saving us, okay? That's what they're going to see very, very soon. And shame shall cover her. All right, and 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 how is shame uh, gonna uh, cover her? All right, when she when, when these women who've been against us start really experiencing you know troubles, all right, trials and tribulations, she's gonna be uh, ashamed that she did all, all these things. She's she's gonna be regretting all the evil things that she's done to you, okay. While while you're getting protected. You know, and while her life is, you know, in shambles, she, she, she's going to remember all, all these things. And then she's going to be shamefaced. And I'll say this, brothers, men, I guarantee you there's going to be just women uh, upon women they used to deal with. that are, Man, they're going to be giving you all these phone calls, trying to find you, knocking on your door in that day, man. They're going to be trying to get right with you then. But it's going to be too late, man. The hell with them. That's another thing too, man. Hey, look, for you women that have done us wrong, man. Well, look, man. We're we're gonna find something, you know, a uh, 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 better, man. We don't need you, okay. You're not the prize. See, that's the thing with the, uh, especially the Israelite woman and the uh, the modern day women in general. But the, the 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 especially you Israelite women. You 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 gotta get through your thick skull. You're not the prize, man. You are not the prize. Okay? Well, the Israelite man is the prize. We're, we're the top of the top on the food chain, man. Okay? Right now, you just have, you know, Esau, you know, on top in these other nations. Because this is our punishment. We're dealing with our punishment. But in reality, we're the top men. Especially the men of the Lord, man. We are the top of the top. Whether you like it or not. And if you don't like it, hey, cool, man. Hey, enjoy Babylon. Enjoy the last seconds of it. We hey, enjoy this place, cause hey, very soon hey, you're not gonna be able to go to the club anymore. You're not gonna shit, man. You're not gonna be able to eat anymore pretty soon. A lot of you women are gonna get hey, you're gonna get gang raped to death. You're gonna be passed around. All right, hey, you're gonna be barely eating, cause you're gonna be getting food rations, and then they're gonna cut off the food rations. A lot of you are gonna die from cannibalism. A lot of nasty things are gonna come to you, women, man. All right, damn demons. What well, says here, Micah 7 and 10. Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her. Which said unto me, where is the Lord thy power? Which they always say. You know, they always make fun of us. They, they don't believe that, 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 that the Most High is going to, you know, come back. That these prophecies aren't going to be fulfilled. Now it says here, my eyes shall behold her. Now uh, shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. So you're going to be stomped out, okay? That's basically what it's, it's saying. You're going to be stomped out. Are you going to be like a, a, a piece of shit that's been, you know, that's been stepped on, you know, where it gets, you know, flattened, okay? That's what's going to happen to you Israelite women, okay? And like I said, this is basically the Lord saying, fuck the black woman, fuck the Hispanic woman, man, okay? That's basically what he's saying, fuck you, man. 
Because really, they, they, that's some retaliation of you saying, F us. You know? But, um, but that's pretty much it, man. All right? That's pretty much it, man. Hey, you know, for you brothers out there, man, hey, the hell with these women, okay? Hey, look, if you got a woman that wants to, you know, deal with you, she, she uh, you know, it pleases uh, uh, for her to dwell with you, so be it, okay? Hey, don't get too caught up, you know, uh, uh, and, and uh, hung up, you know, on, uh, on you know, an ex-woman, okay? Your baby mama, whatever, man, all right? Don't get too hung up on that stuff, all right? Hey, just focus on, you know, what's at hand and let the Lord deal with these uh, these wicked women, okay? Look, the Lord, he, he's about to give us that, that Isaiah 4 and 1, okay? And look, these women, they, they're going to be in order. They're, they're, they're going to, you know, listen to you. They're, they're, they're going to follow you. They're going to actually be real women to, you know, basically be real women. They're going to want to, you know, uh, take care of you, so to speak, all right? You know, they're going to, you know, give you a massage. They're going to, you know, help cook, you know, clean. They're going to do their womanly duties, man. It's coming. It's coming. Hey, the Lord's got a lot, you know, in store for us. It's only a matter of time. We just got to wait it out. All right. But with that, you know, I hope this was an edifying lesson. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory. How about Shimei Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all your brothers. Shalom.